Welcome to Wikibits. Today we will talk about how to buy cryptocurrency for beginners. This will be an ultimate step-by-step -step guide. I'm going to show you how to get started in investing in alternative cryptocurrencies or altcoins like EOS, NEO, and IOTA safely and securely step-by-step. -step. In this video, I will explain what you need to know and do before investing in digital assets like cryptocurrency. It will teach you how to set up all the accounts and allow you to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin which you will use to buy other types of coins on the exchange. I will walk you through in this video. I'm going to make this as easy as possible for you guys, so let's get started. 1. Research about cryptocurrency you want to buy. Much like blue chip companies in the stock market, the crypto market has its own popular picks. Ultimately, these blue chip coins are Bitcoin, BTC, and Ether, ETH. Of course, there are thousands of alternative coins, or altcoins, to choose from. However, the more well-known options tend to be better for beginners who may be more risk-averse than seasoned crypto investors. The best way to do your due diligence in the crypto market is Track an asset's performance from its chart. See how volatile it is over the course of weeks, months, and years. Find out the underlying blockchain of the crypto. Blockchain is the specific tech that enables a cryptocurrency to exist. Not all blockchains are created equal. For example, some are more secure than others or have a larger carbon footprint. Take a look at the community behind the asset. Who are the founders? Are any reputable people collaborating with the asset? 2. Best Practices of Buying Crypto Safely As people begin to talk more and more about cryptocurrency, it's easy to become jaded to the risks of the crypto world. Fortunately, there are a handful of best practices that can keep you safe as you learn how to buy crypto. Research and scrutinize a digital asset before investing. Ideally, you'll want it to have some history, and you'll want to know who's behind it. Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin started the Ethereum Foundation EF, as a non-profit organization dedicated to supporting Ethereum and related technologies. Know that this is not always the case. You'll want to know who's profiting, and whether they're putting you at risk to achieve it. Go with a broker that's secure, trusted, transparent, and overall safe. You'll want to know who's helping you execute your trades and keep your investments secure, without putting you in a compromising position. Invest only what you're willing to lose. This is especially true for beginners, and it's a borrowed mantra from the stock market itself. Trust your gut. As a beginner, crypto may still mystify you a bit, but following your instinct is better than blindly following the advice of others. Always do your own research. 3. Choosing a Crypto Exchange To buy cryptocurrency, first you need to pick a broker or a crypto exchange. While either lets you buy crypto, there are a few key differences between them to keep in mind. What is a cryptocurrency exchange? A cryptocurrency exchange is a platform where buyers and sellers meet to trade cryptocurrencies. Exchanges often have relatively low fees, but they tend to have more complex interfaces with multiple trade types and advanced performance charts, all of which can make them intimidating for new crypto investors. Some of the most well-known cryptocurrency exchanges are Coinbase, Gemini, and Binance.us. While these companies' standard trading interfaces may overwhelm beginners, particularly those without a background trading stocks, they also offer user-friendly easy purchase options. The convenience comes at a cost, however, as the beginner-friendly options charge substantially more than it would cost to buy the same crypto via each platform's standard trading interface. To save on costs, you might aim to learn enough to utilize the standard trading platforms before you make your fist crypto purchase, or not long after. An important note, as someone new to crypto, you'll want to make sure your exchange or brokerage of choice allows fiat currency transfers and purchases made with US dollars. Some exchanges only allow you to buy crypto using another crypto, meaning you'd have to find another exchange to buy the tokens your preferred exchange accepts before you could begin trading crypto on that platform. 4. Depositing cash to invest. To buy crypto, you'll need to make sure you have funds in your account. You might deposit money into your crypto account by linking your bank account, 
authorizing a wire transfer or even making a payment with a debit or credit card. Depending on the exchange or broker and your funding method, you may have to wait a few days before you can use the money you deposit to buy cryptocurrency. Here's one big buyer beware, while some exchanges or brokers allow you to deposit money from a credit card, doing so is extremely risky and expensive. Credit card companies process cryptocurrency purchases with credit cards as cash advances. This means they're subject to higher interest rates than regular purchases, and you'll also have to pay additional cash advance fees. For example, you may have to pay 5% of the transaction amount when you make a cash advance. This is on top of any fees that your crypto exchange or brokerage may charge, these can run up to 5% themselves, meaning you might lose 10% of your crypto purchase to fees. 5. Selecting a storage method. Cryptocurrency exchanges are not backed by protections like the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, and they're at risk of theft or hacking. You could even lose your investment if you forget or lose the codes to access your account, as millions of dollars of Bitcoin already has been. That's why it's so important to have a secure storage place for your cryptocurrencies. As noted above, if you're buying cryptocurrency via a broker, you may have little to no choice in how your cryptocurrency is stored. If you purchase cryptocurrency through an exchange, you have more options. Leave the crypto on the exchange. When you buy cryptocurrency, it's typically stored in a so-called crypto wallet attached to the exchange. If you don't like the provider your exchange partners with or you want to move it to a more secure location, you might transfer it off of the exchange to a separate hot or cold wallet. Depending on the exchange and the size of your transfer, you may have to pay a small fee to do this. Hot Wallets These are crypto wallets that are stored online and run on internet-connected devices, such as tablets, computers or phones. Hot wallets are convenient, but there's a higher risk of theft since they're still connected to the internet. Cold Wallets Cold crypto wallets aren't connected to the internet making them your most secure option for holding cryptocurrency. They take the form of external devices, like a USB drive or a hard drive. You have to be careful with cold wallets, though, if you lose the key code associated with them or the device breaks or fails, you may never be able to get your cryptocurrency back. While the same could happen with certain hot wallets, some are run by custodians who can help you get back into your account if you get locked out. Six investing in companies connected to crypto if you'd rather invest in companies with tangible products or services and that are subject to regulatory oversight but still want exposure to the cryptocurrency market you can buy stocks of companies that use or own cryptocurrencies and the blockchain that powers them you'll need an online brokerage account to buy shares of public companies like nvidia nvda this technology company designs and sells graphics processing units, which are at the heart of the systems used to mine cryptocurrency. PayPal PYPL. Already a popular choice for people buying items online or transferring money to family and friends, this payments platform recently expanded to allow customers to buy and sell select cryptocurrencies with their PayPal and Venmo accounts. Square SQ. This payment services provider for small businesses has purchased over $220 million in Bitcoin since October 2020. In February 2021, the firm disclosed that Bitcoin made up around 5% of the cash on its balance sheet. In addition, Square's Cash App allows people to buy, sell and store cryptocurrency. As with any investment, Make sure you consider your investment goals and current financial situation before investing in cryptocurrency or individual companies that have a heavy stake in it. Cryptocurrency can be extremely volatile, a single tweet can make its price plummet, and it's still a very speculative investment. This means you should invest carefully and with caution. 7. In Summary Researching Cryptocurrency Before Buying Identify blue-chip coins like Bitcoin BTC, and Ether ETH. Consider popular options for beginners. Analyze performance via charts over different time frames. Understand the underlying blockchain technology. 
Assess the community and collaborations behind the asset. Best practices for safe crypto buying. Research assets before investing. Choose secure and trusted brokers or exchanges. Invest only what you're willing to lose. Rely on instincts and personal research. Choosing a crypto exchange. Pick a broker or crypto exchange. Exchanges have lower fees but complex interfaces. Popular exchanges include Coinbase, Gemini, and Binance.us. User-friendly options have higher fees. Check for fiat currency support. Depositing cash to invest. Deposit money through bank accounts, wire transfers, or cards. Credit card deposits are risky and costly. Consider waiting times for funds to be available. Beware of additional fees from exchanges and card companies. Selecting a storage method. Crypto exchanges lack protection, prone to theft. Secure storage is crucial for protection. Choose between exchange wallets, hot wallets, online, and cold wallets, offline. Cold wallets are most secure but require careful management. Custodian-run hot wallets offer account recovery. Investing in companies related to crypto. Invest in companies using or owning cryptocurrencies. Examples, NVIDIA, NVDA, PayPal, PYPL, Square, SQ. Assess investment goals and financial situation. Cryptocurrency investment is highly volatile and speculative. 